Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and today we are back with the GitLab CI CD tutorial for beginners. So this is a continuation of our previous tutorials. So if you have seen uh, the previous tutorial, we spoke about GitLab runner, right? So how to set up GitLab runner on Windows. And in this tutorial, we are going to see how to set up GitLab runner on a, a Linux CentOS machine. Okay, so if you already know how to set up GitLab Runner, you can just skip it. So I will be continuing with the next tutorial so you can go to that directly. So just to give a recap for those who don't know what is a GitLab Runner. So GitLab Runner is an application that picks up and executes the CI CD job for GitLab. So it's more like a slave machine which we use it in Jenkins or nodes which we call it in Jenkins, right, where the jobs will be running. So it's an open source software, GitLab Runner is an open source software, so you can use it and install it. And there are two kind of runners which I showed you, like there is something called specific runners and shared runners, right? So the specific runners are specific to the project which we set up like now what we are doing uh, using a Linux machine. Uh, their shared runners is coming from the GitLab itself, so when you run a, a CICD job it can take the shared runner as well. And you know you can run this, install the GitLab Runner or different operating system like Windows, like what we are doing now for Linux, or you can even run inside a Docker container. So to give you uh, details on uh, GitLab Runner installation on Linux, so what we will be doing is we'll be downloading the GitLab Runner binary file. So there are different ways, but we'll be using the binary files, and we'll create a GitLab user and then install the runner. We'll also run uh, install the runner as a service and then start it and then we'll register the runner. So once you register, you'll be able to see the active status of the runner on the GitLab job. So that will be the overall process. So we'll get into the demo directly now. So before I get into the demo, I would request you like, you know, if you are new to my channel or if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would say click on the subscribe button and also press on the bell icon so you'll be notified when I submit a uh, new videos okay so also i would request like you click on the like share and comment so that you know more and more people will be benefited by these tutorials so get to get started you know to the demo i will uh, have few projects in gitlab so i have showed you like in the previous tutorial for gitlab runner on windows so where you can see is once you go to the project you have ci cd and you also have a CI CD here. So this CI CD is for more of the creating pipeline. You have to go to settings and go to the CI CD and you will be having something called runners, right? So if you expand the runner, you have uh, two options. One is specific runner and shared runner. So I have disabled my shared runner so that, you know, these uh, jobs which is running or the CI CD job on this project, it will not be running on the shared runner. So the shared runners, I uh, know it's uh, used can, it's completely free for open source project or there is a limit like 400 CI minutes for uh, no, the private project. So these uh, options we will be using like the token and everything to register and I'll be following this uh, documentation for installing on uh, you know, uh, Linux machine. So there are different ways I said you can use multiple ways to install it using a, uh, they be, uh, you know, RPM package or you know dot dev package or in there uh, you can also use a binary file so what we are going to use is we are going to use a binary file then we have to give some permissions we have to create a user CI user then install a service and uh, start the runner and then you need to register so in order to register the runner you have to run some command and you I will just show you all those things so let me get started so I have this machine okay which uh, is a Linux and machine and uh, this CentOS machine, I also have a Docker installs. Why? Because uh, in this machine, I'm going to set up this runner. And also the benefit is like, you know, since I have a Docker install, when I create uh, the GitLab uh, images or GitLab, you know, uh, uh, pipeline, I'll be specific, specifying some images uh, so that, you know, you can create containers on this machine. Okay, so for example, I want to run Maven build. I'll be setting up an image for Maven and I will run that uh, CI CD pipeline. So I don't have to set up Maven here uh, in the CentOS machine. It will create a Maven image and then it will create, it will use the Maven image and it will create a container for the Maven and then it will do those activities. So we will see all those things. That's why I have a Docker also set up on this machine. So let me get started with the commands. 
so the first thing is like we need to download the GitLab runner so as I said I'm using the binary file so you just need to run this command which is already available in that documentation which I will link into this video description so you can just have a look there so it's almost like a 53.6 uh, megabyte uh, file so let's just wait for that to be downloaded okay so the download is completed and it's downloaded under this location slash user local pin GitLab runner so if you go to slash user slash local slash bins and you should be able to see the GitLab runner and now we need to give the permissions for that so let me just uh, run that command to give the permission so you need to run the ch mode uh, and you need to give that location for the file so now if you see this uh, has been made green so because it has got a complete permission now so the next step is like we are going to create a user uh, called GitLab ru uh, runner so then you know we'll see uh, how to make use of that to register and install the runner okay so that is done so next step is like we need to install this GitLab runner as a service so what we are going to do is we are going to run this command GitLab runner install uh, slash and you're going to use this uh, user to run it and the directory should be here so that we need to make some changes in this command because if you run the uh, without you know this dot slash it will not detect the GitLab runner exe uh, it's not an exe sorry it's the GitLab runner executable okay so uh, you know you have to use this uh, command okay so then you have to run it so if you run it so it will create uh, give you this output okay and the next step is we need to start the runner right so you need to again run this command you know uh, GitLab runner and start so if you run it then the GitLab runner is started as well so next step is like we need to register the runner okay so for registering the runner you need to uh, run another command so it's pretty simple command it's uh, almost the same as start but you need need to change it to register so you're going to call this GitLab runner executable and then you have to go to run the register so once you run the register you'll be getting uh, some prompt where you need to enter some information so since we are using the GitLab uh, as the you know, uh, uh, for, you know the instance URL if you are using your own URLs you have to give that so I'm just going to run uh, GitLab uh, dot com and I'm going to run it now we need to enter as registration token and this registration token is under the settings uh, you know where we showed uh, ci cd and you need to expand the runner and you need to copy this uh, registration token and you need to enter that then you can give some uh, description uh, for this runner so i'll just make it as linux and then you can give some tags so i will again give linux and docker okay so the tags will be useful for you when you run you know some pipeline where you can mention this pipeline has to be running on this tagged uh, runners okay so now you need to run some executor uh, executors here so i'm going to use docker as well here and i'm going to use shell okay so let me run that okay so i think uh, there is some problem with this executor so let me just run with shell yep so it's added so we are done uh, from that part so let me clear it and let me go back here and I'm going to refresh this runner okay and I'm going to expand the runner now you can see we have this runner added right and it's green because you know it's online now so now once you create uh, you know this pipeline job uh, it will be able to run it on this uh, runner you can add multiple runners as well okay so but uh, I, I know in this case I'm adding only the Linux runner now so last tutorial I'll show you how to set up Windows runner as well so and that's the overall process we wanted to do like we just want to set up the runners so we will be making use of these runners in the upcoming tutorial so the whole agenda of this tutorial is step by step process how you complete the CI CD or uh, using GitLab. So now we are done with the runners registrations and setting up. So now next uh, tutorial we'll be doing how to create uh, the jobs CI CD job how to write the GitLab uh, hyphen CI dot YAML file where we'll be creating stages and also the jobs. So uh, I would request you like if you haven't subscribed uh, click on the subscribe button to watch more videos and I'm hoping this tutorial is informative for you. So thank you for watching and uh, keep uh, liking sharing and 
giving feedbacks on my videos. 